Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Today I'm going to be trying the Peach and Lily Collagen Cushion Peptide Lip Balm. This product retails for $22. This is a new lip balm launch from Peach and Lily and I'm super excited to be trying it because I don't think they've released any lip balms in the past. They do have two shades of this. They have the clear and also a sheer peach. It is a fragrance free option. It does have fruit extract in it. This product is vegan, cruelty free, fragrance free, alcohol free, and comes air cycle. Packaging. They have amazing supporting ingredients in this product, including squalane, shea butter, and polyglutamic acid. To check out the full ingredient list, make sure you click the link in the description to go to their website. The things I'll be looking for with it include how nourishing is it for the lips, what finish does it leave, and also is this a long-lasting lip balm. As for anything else, I'll be continuing to check in, so I will see you all in the next check. Hi everyone, I'm here to give you all a quick check-in on this product. I have used it a couple of days and it seems to be a very nourishing and long-lasting lip balm. I'm not sure if they're claiming to have plumping benefits with this or not. They do have some ingredients that are designed for that that will show more with long-term use. But what I can tell so far is it is a very lightweight yet nourishing lip balm, but it does leave a little bit of a glossy high shine finish on the lips you can kind of see there on my wrist. This isn't something that's extremely heavy feeling on the lips, but it is definitely something that I notice leaves a little bit of a finish. The smell is another thing. It's not the best. I did get the sheer version of this. I'm assuming the peach acts the same, but the taste is just, it, it, it's slightly peachy, but like you can definitely tell it's fragrance free and it's just a fruit extract, which is okay. I'm glad they didn't opt for fragrance because I feel like the fragrance lip market is very saturated. It's definitely something that makes it stand out along with the nice hydrating finish that it leaves. It's not sticky whatsoever. It just leaves a nice glossy finish. If you do enjoy that, then this would be a great lip balm, at least so far. I'm personally loving how long lasting it is. I've used this both as a daytime lip treatment and also an overnight lip treatment, and I love it for both so far. I'm going to continue using it and seeing what else I notice. So I will see you all in the next check. Hi everyone, I'm back to give you all my final thoughts on this lip balm. It's getting very difficult to compare all of the lip balms that I have tried, but this one had a few standout features that I feel like separate it from other lip balms on the market. First of all, it is technically a fragrance-free lip balm, even though it does have some fruit extracts in it. So if that is something you look for in a lip balm, then this is when I would really recommend it. Another key standout was how long-lasting and nourishing this lip balm was. I found it was perfect to use both as a daily lip balm and also an overnight sleeping mask, even though I really prefer to use it overnight, which leads me to something I'm not personally the biggest fan of, which is the higher gloss finish of this product. I feel like it would be a good lip topper because it almost left a lip gloss-like finish to the lips. It was also a little bit heavy, but it wasn't sticky whatsoever, which I don't mind, but that is why I prefer using it mostly as an overnight sleeping mask. It wasn't something that was terrible where I felt like like I couldn't use it throughout the day. I just do prefer a lip balm like the topicals during the day just because it was a little bit more lightweight. This one is more on the expensive side of lip balms, but ultimately with the amazing hydrating and nourishing ingredients in it, I feel like it was really worth the money. And the glossy finish was something that I got used to and I could look over because I found it was just an easy on the go lip balm. It provided a deep, rich nourishment that a lip mask usually would. And my favorite part about it is it comes in a tube, so it's super easy to travel with and easily apply no matter where you are, which is one of the biggest selling points in my opinion, which is convenience. If you're wanting a more affordable lip balm, the Topicals is one of my go-tos that I just really gravitated towards. It has a similar nourishment. This one is like that product for me, but just a little bit heavier. And so if you are looking for more of a glossy finish, that's when I would really recommend going for this. Ultimately though, either is a great option. I don't really have a preference. I'm gonna have to use it longer to see if there's any nourishing benefits that I noticed long term. I did notice I was having to apply this product less as I continued using it. I found that I only have to use it once during the day and once at night. I woke up and my lips felt super nourished and I feel like it is a wonderful option for a lip balm. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review.